Hello, this is Paul Toomey, and I'm going to walk you through a brilliant layout designed uh, and penciled and possibly inked by Jack Cole in 1953. This is the uh, lead story in Plastic Man number 42, and uh, I'm posting this on Halloween Day in 2012 seems appropriate since the story itself uh, has uh, supernatural themes and a beautiful sexy witch in it. Uh, but I'd like to talk about the design of the title page which I think is particularly good. Um, the thing that really uh, is worth paying attention to here is the, uh, the complexity of the different planes uh, that we see here. Uh, if we think of the, the pieces of art here as layers on top of layers, here we have um, the first layer that's closest to us, which is uh, appropriate, appropriately enough the, the, the narrative of the, of the story. Uh, and it's been done in a, in a very artful way, as though it were an old parchment scroll. And it's even tilted uh, and uh, slightly distorted, uh, giving giving it a kind of a, as though it were floating in the air on top of everything else that's going on. Behind that we have Plaza's uh, to legs and torso. Uh, his leg is uh, somewhat grotesquely twisted here and the shadow emphasizes that and repeats it. Uh, so we have a nice uh, repetition happening here in the curves. These three curves of the parchment, Plaza's, Plaza's leg, and the shadow. Uh, and that's sort of all happening on uh, the next level. Behind that we have uh, the cauldron and the fire and Woozy Winks, Plaza's sidekick. And uh, behind all the, these items we have the, uh, the sexy uh, witch of Wailing Woods uh, who's uh, getting ready to plunge a uh, needle into a voodoo doll of Plastic Man. Uh, and now notice coming up from the cauldron uh, we have tendrils of smoke rising up and they come uh, behind the witch's head and uh, it's in this beautiful abstract pattern uh, towards this period in the last three or four years of his work on Plastic Man Cole really seemed to enjoy uh, drawing these these uh, wonderful abstract shapes and putting them into his comics and often they were in the form of smoke cigarette smoke usually, but here we have smoke from a boiling cauldron, and it forms the title banner, The Witch of Wailing Woods, uh, lettered in uh, shaky letters. Now, uh, with these, uh, and then behind the witch we have the background, which is uh, uh, just a simply drawn curtain with a spider web and a broom, uh, and some bats flying around. With these planes of existence, Cole is uh, playing with the drawing and, and adding complexity. Uh, notice uh, Plaza's body. It's been contorted and twisted almost as never before. Right here, it's twisted around. You can see uh, his middle yellow uh, and black uh, sort of B banding. Uh, it's just twisted right here. Uh, and it twists and curves around. And now his arm, his left arm, curves around and around towards us and then away from us. And whoa, all the way around and behind the monster's arm and behind Plaz himself. Uh, it's a unifying element that's echoed by his leg and the shadow and the parchment that we've talked about before. Uh, also, the witch's uh, right arm echoes what's happening here. It's a beautiful design. Plaza's other arm is doing the same thing as the witch's arm. Uh, so we have this... Uh, unity happening through the repetition of uh, poses, but Plaza's body itself is a tour de force. Look what's happening with his neck. It's going up and it's going down and it's kind of coming out towards us a little bit and the monster himself, his hand is stretching the neck like a rubber band going behind the title and then in some sort of incredible 3D effect, it's kind of his other arm is reaching out towards us uh, and then notice what's happening with the speech balloons. Uh, the witch's speech balloon, as we pointed out, is in front of Plaza's arm. Woozy Winks' speech balloon, the tail is drawn to actually disrupt the title 
band flow. And look at this, the Plastic Man logo itself is disrupted a little by the monster's wrist and also some bats flying around. This page is just an amazing design and uh, the inking, uh, especially here on Woozy, is a, a little uh, not as accomplished, you know, as we're used to seeing in Cole's work, but the design and uh, the penciling and the conception of it is just breathtaking. Uh, this is one of the last Plastic Man stories that Cole uh, wrote, uh, possibly wrote, but uh, drew, and, uh, and I think he was giving it everything he had.